Alright guys, how's it going? Welcome to this lesson. In this video I'm going to be teaching you uh, this exotic melody thing. Um, yeah, it's pretty much just kind of the the quintessential like gypsy, um, like, not gypsy jazz where it kind of sounds kind of jazzy, but literally the whole, when you hear like the Egyptian, like Arabic stuff, but then it's like that gypsy you know what I mean like I mean for me this is like my favorite kind of sound um, so I think it's awesome but um th that this thing it's like if you just practice this for a bit like every day like you're picking in general I mean you can just have a you know play that for, for like I don't know five minutes a bit longer maybe with some other stuff if you need to and uh, you know that would literally be all your guitar practice for the day you won't have developed any left hand stuff it's all in the right but uh, right is mostly everything um, unless you're trying to shred with the left as well but for a lot of stuff um, it's uh, everything's all in in the right hand uh, so yeah to play this I mean the thing is this really helps with like the sort of um, palm mute in accents as well where it's kind of like you've got a palm mute and take it off and stuff so it helps with that as well but you get better at that uh, the better that you get it uh, with the right hand regardless so that doesn't really matter too much uh, so yeah to play it um, fourth fret and third fret on the G string so it's, it's a fourth fret and then two palm muted ones and then a non palm muted one. So it's like. And then another two palm muted one, so as a whole. And then a pull off from the fourth to the third fret. So. And then it's a palm mute on the third. <laughs> and then a. Uh, one unpalm muted so and then a palm muted one and then a non palm muted one and then back to the fourth fret So that's the first thing you got to do. Now that is the, what you're doing with the right hand for the whole thing that I showed in the beginning. Um, it's always the same sort of uh, thing that you're doing. So get this down, get the palm mutes right, make sure you get that right because the notes are easy, there's barely any notes. It's all um, to get the sound how I do it at least, you, know, you can just play it however you want. So it doesn't really matter, but I, this is how I like to do it, um, and like I say, it's good for for your practice, right? And then what you're going to do is move up to the seven and six fret um, and do the same thing. So as a whole. So the thing is, um, if you want to go back to um, the, because as the tab says, uh, with the 7 and the 6 one, the last note is a 4, not a 7, because basically what happens is if you want to go up, so you have to, um, you know how there's like two notes, you're always playing like with two notes. Um, if you want to go down, you uh, so for example, if you want to go uh, down back to the four and the three, um, your last note is going to be a fourth fret. So, okay. 
okay just like how the tab says so all together so as you can see it's like it just goes down now the first one that I showed you where it's like it's got um like the last notes are seven with the seven and the six um, like I say that's when you go up and then here it's 12th uh, and 11th fret on the G so it's the exact same thing as down here So, um, cause like with the seven and the six one, like I say, you kind of go up or down. So you have to change that last note. Um, that's how you go down or to go up. Um, but with this 12 and the 11th one, um, just forget about like the seven and the six pattern. It's just the exact, the way I teach it to you is it's the exact same thing as when you're doing the fours and the threes. So it's just the exact same. And it's the exact same with the seven and the six when you want to go up. Right, but anyway, when you're up here, you, the next frets are five and four, uh, sorry, 15 and 14. But again with this one, it's like the 7 and the 6, if you want to go back down to the 12 and the 11, your last note needs to be like the like the higher note of like the previous two, if you know what I mean, that's what it actually, that's what's, what we're actually doing. Uh, so if you're on the 15 and 14th fret, your last note needs to be the 12. So. Now with the 11 and the 12 is a unique one where no matter whether you're going up or back down you always just do it so it's like the up version where it's like you so it's not like it's not like do 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 it's just uh, you just go you know like when you're trying to go up um, See, that's what you play when you want to go up the notes um, but with the 11 and this 12 one um, you just always do it like that even if you want to go back down that's what I'm trying to say see so with this one it's like it has to go down but with this one you just play it just that one formation Now, what you can do is uh, from here, it's like with the 12 and the 11, and the 15 and the 14. Sorry. <laughs> so, yeah, like these notes. You can actually go, I mean, I've covered everything that I played in the intro, where it's like, because this is like the main melody, it's like you have this lower version and the higher version. Um, but it can go even higher and that's sometimes how I like to play it when I'm playing it by myself but the notes sound quite thin uh, when you go really high but I like to play it so I'll show you how it sounds and I'll sort of tell you what to do So anyway, so like the last thing, the highest thing that I've shown you is 15 and 14 on the G. So 
So now it goes up to uh, 20 and 19. On the B string, and again, because you're going then even higher, again, you always do it where like you play that to go up. So, so that would be like the same as uh, and then you want to play uh, the 18 and 17 on the high E. Again, you play it like that because we're going to go up again. And then it's 22 and 21. You might not have those frets, but. I've lost one. Hand. Yeah, so it's it's twenty two, twenty one, and then it's eighteen, seventeen, and then twenty and nineteen on the B string. Um, so when you're going up again, you just do that upwards pattern. But again, it's that's what I mean. It's getting really confusing now because there's just so many different things you've got to remember. Like with this one again, I do that one where you want to go up, but I'm actually then going to go back down again. And then I always play that as just single notes. This is just that's what I mean. That's why. I didn't really play that in the intro because it just kind of, uh, this is just how I do it and it's sort of specific now every time. That one's sort of like the down version. And then I just play uh, the 19 and the 20 uh, formation, uh, just the regular notes. So going from the 15 to the 14 on the G, I'm, I'm going to show you sort of what I do. So yeah, it's like I say, um, 4-3. 7, 6, 12, 11, 15, 14 on the G, that's how you do it. Um, but then you also have um, like the 20, 19 on the B, um, 18, 17 on the high E, and then the 22 and 21 on the high E. Like, I, like I, I didn't actually tab these ones out, I've got, I've always got the tabs on my computer screen so I can read it out too. Um, but yeah, it's when it goes up here you can kind of just do whatever you want but I find you might as well kind of do it exactly how I do it with the ones around here so yeah if you have any questions let me know um, you can do whatever you want with the notes even write new whatever it doesn't matter you know you can get creative with it uh, so thank you very much for watching guys take care god bless